can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Bull shooting their first free throw of the evening. And they shot the ball well this season in, in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. You know, the numbers are set. Clearly, he's not pleased with all the looks they've given up on the inside. And also, to get them to tighten up that defense. Yeah, and I think he's going to let them know about it. shooting their second and third shot to the line right here. The first one fall. Frazier, he's checked in for Sacramento. Two quarters down, two to go. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith as we start breaking it down for you. Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. And we'll go to Kenny first. What you see out there? How good are these guys on the fast play? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, Blowout city. Shaq, what's your take on Sacramento? Well, first of all, Ernie, they were atrocious on the boards. Getting tough on the glass has got to be the first thing they address. There is no way they can come back into the game unless they show more fight in the paint. If not, Ernie, they're going to be barbecue chicken. And that's going to do it for now as the second half is almost ready to get started. Back to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. We're going to sit right here and wait for the end of the game and talk at you again. Too. And you talk about huge single game scoring performances like we're watching here tonight. Going back only one play. Think of this. Only one play in NBA history to go triple digits. And that's the Big Dipper. Will Chamberlain on March 2nd, 1962. Truly an iconic record. I mean, a hundred points. I mean, it's hard to wrap your mind around. But Wilt was a man among boys, a player who changed the way an entire sport was played. Truly a revolutionary. And so he hits both. Shoot two, shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. The Kings making a switch here. Adams checked in. He's perfect from the line. Could be a three-point play. Nice pass there to set that bucket up. And that's 10 of their last 12 points that have come off assists. Oh, 
Frazier. He's checked in for Sacramento. Bulls have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. And send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And five straight field goals they've allowed now on fast breaks. It's simply a matter of making the commitment to getting back in transition to deny those easy buckets. Erickson's check in for Sacramento. Young comes in for Butler. Bulls have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, I can't see how they'd come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a good look at it on the replay. The clock's still ticking Basketball when it left his fingertips. And they've taken a look at it, and they've overturned the call. They've overturned the call. Uh, they're calling the basket good, Greg. Yeah, and that's why we have replay. I mean, to make sure the officials don't miss any calls. And really, a good job to take the second look at it. Would have been a shame if they'd been cheated out of those points. And as we conclude... There's hot guys, and then there's really hot. They just can't miss. You know, Greg, sometimes you'll see an individual guy go on a shooting tear like this, but the whole squad... Wow. Seven. And the line the One shot. So Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. They poured it on tonight, Clark, a dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for them. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now time to send you over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson for the post-game show with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports post-game show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here, so is Shaquille O'Neal. Time now for some highlights as we take a look at our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. He was an artist with the basketball tonight, guys. Just a ridiculous amount of assists for him in this game. The way he moved the ball around the court, making sure everyone had their hand in the offense was superb. That's how you play the point in this league, ladies and gentlemen. His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, it was going in. You rarely see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.